Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you two ways of cutting uh, these uh, female header strips the uh, 0 0.1 inch or 2.54 millimeters spacing kind. Um, see, I'm building this little board for the 80 tiny 1616 which I'll talk about in future videos, but I need um, I have the power here and all the stuff, but I need two rows of headers of 10, 10 pins each on each side. So I have these standard uh, 40 pin headers. Of course you can buy, uh, find and buy um, smaller kinds which are already um, made to, to size. This is for uh, 4 pins of course. But these are uh, more rare and more expensive usually. And you just get a, a bunch of 100 of these, they cost like $5. You want to cut them. Now uh, cutting these is not trivial. I have, I'll have i show you two methods that I've developed. Um, none of them may be the best one. Um, your mileage may vary. But let's try it. So first of all, um, what I do is I take out the uh, the pin beyond those that I need. For instance, in this case I need the 10 pins. So I take these uh, needle nose pliers, right? The thinnest and longest you can get, it's uh, they work best. Now let's count. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I take the 11th, better count twice because you don't want to, uh, you know, uh, waste an entire strip because of the, uh, bad counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 10. Okay, so pulling this out now. Uh, you want to hold on to this uh, little bit because if one day you get hit by shrink ray and you become like this big you can use this to fend off ants but um, that's for another video <laughs> anyway uh, take this now you have the um, you know where to cut and uh, it's easier to cut without the metal inside so I take a little block of uh, food to avoid scratching my own table and I take this um, uh, crafts knife, big hefty craft knife. Now, um, this is the first method, I'll show you another one later. But the most important thing here is not to cut uh, a, a very strong cut. You're not trying to cut through the plastic, you just want to make a scratch. Okay? And you make that the scratch along the middle, more or less, of the uh, of where you took out the, uh, the metal pin. So you. Um, I hope you can see this because I'm looking at it from the side so you make a groove here not too deep you don't have to make it deep at all and on the other side okay if you if you uh, use too much force now it will break and this part will fly off to wherever so be very careful now you have uh, grooves on both sides you can cut it either by uh, pressing with both hands or with the uh, pliers you can simply snap it now it snaps but it's not uh, it's not flush okay but it will never be exactly flush but if you want it a bit nicer you can always use the uh, the pliers to grab the the end here's the the piece that I took off just grab the the end and twist it easily and they go off and you have almost flush almost perfect this is the first technique but um, be careful on your fingers because this is sharp another te technique that I developed which may be a bit easier for some of you so we'll just let's give it a try um, here's my strip I'll start from the other end which is already flush and the original end count I need two for the other side of course um, this will be like this moment, like here, and another one on the other side. So I need again 10 pins. So I have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Take the 11th. Two, three, four, five. Okay. This can also be used as a very small fork for very small uh, morsels of food, right? Okay, now that I have this, uh, again, the the last thing is marked, I take uh, this device, this is the um, this tool, uh, side cutters, fine tipped side, side cutters, 
I don't remember the, um, the exact name of this thing. This is the CHP 170, it's called. I think I got this from SparkFun, but you can get it on all the electronics shop. This is another model of the same uh, same kind of tip. You see, it's uh, like it has a bit of an angle, and the sharp edges are uh, like uh, at an angle too. This is the uh, Phoenix Contact. This type, this kind of tool costs about uh, seven, eight, nine dollars. Uh, don't buy the the one dollar models from from China. They're not they're not worth it. Invest in good tools. You'll be thankful for this. So uh, either one. Let's take our strip again. And now, I put um, one of the uh, teeth of this into the um, the hole that's left after I took out the metal pin. It doesn't go all the way. It doesn't go much at all. But just enough to make to have a leverage, so I can twist the uh, pliers and make sorry you don't, you don't see this because of the light I'm making a groove in the plastic now the plastic is soft you don't have to put uh, too much pressure at all very little pressure and when you reach the, the very end you make a little nib just a little uh, you know a, little, a tiny little cut now from the other side again I take I put it in the um, put one tooth of the pliers one end into the hole where I took out the pin twist it a little and make a groove it doesn't have to be straight it doesn't matter now when I press the just a tiny bit to make the uh, the nib at the end it's already separated see so it's very easy you don't have to to cut uh, yourself or make a or exercise too much pressure but of course again it's not flush so oh, sorry uh, lousy tripod anyway um, with the same cutters you can grab the plastic at the end snip snap and these are flying away of course watch your eyes to whatever degree that you want it you can make this you can cut this almost flush Want a bit more, no problem. Just let me find a way I can see it in the camera in the light. Just scrape it. Never too much pressure, never too much force. This works very easily. Take off all the plastic gunk from here, and you have a 10 pin easily created um, pin he female header. Put it here. So now I have two beautiful 10 pin female header strips for my uh, DIY um, evaluation board for the 80 tiny 1616. And I'm all the stuff now actually is to uh, solder these or solder these to place. And I can uh, start working with this. If you have better ways of cutting these uh, female uh, header strips, uh, let me know. Of course, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you do, and uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.